Hey friends, it's Danielle Smith. I have my serious face on. Uh, you're actually getting me with my glasses for the very first time. This is the first time I've done a video with my glasses. Serious topic. Talked the other day to you about obesity because there was a study that came out that said if we continue on the path where we're, we're heading right now, a full 50% of people in the United States will be obese by the year 2030. Another study comes out today targeting childhood obesity. This is because there is a group called Mission Readiness. You have over 300 retired generals and admirals in the military who are mortified at the rate of childhood obesity and at the number of young adults who are not qualified to serve in the military. Now, three quarters of ad young adults between the ages of 17 and 26 don't qualify to serve, don't qualify to join can't join the military. Now, a full 25% of that 26 million, which is that 17 to 26 year old group that can't doesn't qualify, some of them don't qualify because they don't have a high school diploma, because of health issues, or because they've got a criminal record. But a full 25% of that 26 million don't qualify because they're overweight. In fact, the military is actually spending more than they have in the past because so many of the recruits that are currently accepted aren't in physically good shape, so they're having to go to specific training before basic camp. So what is mission readiness targeting? Well, they're targeting the junk food that's being sold in schools. So you're talking about the cookies and the candies and the cakes and the pastries, a lot of times being sold either in, in that cafeteria line or in vending machines. Now, they've taken soda out of the mix because a lot of the major soda companies have pulled soda out of the schools, and so that's not really happening anymore. Uh, but they're estimating that kids are getting, at this point, about 5 to 10% of their daily intake, 130 calories, from this kind of junk food. And that's, of course, contributing to obesity. So what do we do about this? For me, I don't send my kids, I don't let them buy stuff at school. They're only six and eight. They're eventually going to get older. They're going to have allowance money, money they've earned, and they're going to take it to school and they're going to try to usurp my authority. I get that, but I'm hoping that I'm giving them the healthy habits at home. What type of healthy habits are you trying to establish at home with your children so that you can help them to learn to make good decisions at home? This is what I would like to know because I think that these healthy decisions that they that they should be making at school, we need to teach them at home. What are you doing at home? Love to know. Comment for me if you would. Uh, at Danielle Smith TV is how you find me on Twitter. And of course, I would love it if you'd subscribe. Thanks for always watching and for tolerating me in the glasses. Thanks.